Antonio Romero Romo's career in Dallas seems to be over as the Cowboys had a good season, very good season, with rookie quarterback Dak Prescott. Rumors of him being traded to the Denver Broncos have been swirling over the past few weeks. Now, according to KUSA's Mike Kliss, Denver is only interested in adding Romo if he is a free agent. This means the Cowboys would have to release him, allowing the Broncos to negotiate a better contract with him. Who should have the higher level of urgency here, Romo or John Elway? Well, I mean, as I told you, weeks ago, early in the season, Romo would have virtually no trade value. Everyone sat here and told me how much trade value Romo is going to have. It's virtually none. For example, Elway ain't going to give up anything for him. Not because he's not excellent. Romo, when he's on the field, is excellent. But he's, you know, done in terms of his health. He can't stay on the field for a whole season. Very unlikely. His back keeps going out. So there's more urgency for Romo, obviously, because the clock is ticking. And all the teams around the league, even the suckers, have to know Whatever you give up for Romo, you can't really plan your season around him. You have to cross your fingers and hope he's healthy. John Elway's the king in Denver. You don't have to worry about anything. If it's not Romo, maybe Philip Rivers will be available or someone better. And even if not, another quarterback will present themselves. He doesn't need Romo. Romo needs him. Well, I agree with you there, but I think it's important to ask this particular question. What level of urgency do you give to an executive who has the quality of a team that Elway has um, in terms of how much life they have left? You can't ignore that. Whether it's to keep the lead with Chris Harris and Von Miller and, and the crew, the reality is, is that It's very, very rare in the day that an executive in the NFL has the plethora of talent that he has on one side of the ball that's so dominant with Super Bowl credentials. And then you've got guys on the offensive side of the ball, and then Emmanuel Sanders, and then Demarius Thomas. Okay, with Chris Anderson coming out of the backfield, assuming that he's healthy enough to play. Do you sit up there and just go along and feel all comfortable because Trevor Simeon will be entering his second year, and so with Paxton Lynch, well, third year for Trevor Simeon, even though this is first year he played. You see what I'm saying? Do you sit up there and you lay in the cut, chill out, be comfortable, or do you recognize the level of urgency that you're supposed to have because of the talent that you've assembled and saying, okay, I need this piece. Tony Romo can be my modern-day or present-day Peyton Manning. Five years later, this is what I tell him we need. All we need you to do is this. Can you handle that? Because this is what we're after. So the level of urgency definitely, Max, is right in terms of Tony Romo getting that ring, assuming that's what you want. But let's not ignore the level of culpability John Elway has. You put the other pieces together. You went from the Super Bowl to not make it. You got to find a quarterback. You got to find a quarterback. You got to find a quarterback. All right. Very important news, Stephen A. I don't know if you know, tomorrow on first take, Darren Woodson who has been MIA since the Cowboys were eliminated from the playoffs. He will be be in the house. (laughs) Wow, 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 wow. We traveling, right? Yeah. Mm. No, we're going to talk to him. We'll talk to him. We'll talk to him. We have plenty to get into him and plenty that we want to discuss with Darren Woodson because we we were had a feeling that this was going to happen. Yeah, we knew. Come on. Cowboys ain't showing up after they lose. Well, I hope he has something to say to you guys because I think they have a lot to be optimistic about. And we can also get his thoughts, of course, on this Tony Romo situation.